We are gonna fix this Samsung TV, which has an intermittent audio issue. My team and I have invested over 100 hours combined, mastering the art of troubleshooting and fixing this TV so that you don't have to. What's even more important is the fix we're about to reveal not only tackles the audio issues, but also the most common problems plaguing these Samsung TVs. More on that in a bit. First, for audio issues, let's start with a simple audio reset. We're gonna go down to the sound, expert settings, and all the way down to reset sound. If that didn't work for you, your next step is to try a factory reset. We'll go down to support, self-diagnosis, and all the way to the bottom, reset again. If it asks for a password and you didn't set one, it's going to be 0000. zero, zero, zero. As you're going through the initial setup, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're connected to the internet and perform the newest software update available. Now, if your TV has an audio issue and doesn't connect to the internet, you are simply experiencing a more severe version of that same problem. In this case, you'll need to manually update it by directly downloading the software onto a flash drive from Samsung's website. To do this, all you need is a blank flash drive that's at least two gigabytes or bigger. Let's bring it to the computer. Now, if this also doesn't resolve your issue, we're gonna need a more aggressive fix. For this next step, we're gonna need to open up the TV and remove the main board. I'm gonna start removing the screw next to the main board and then do the perimeter screws. Now, the back cover should lift right off. For the main board removal, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the connectors first. And to remove the main board, there are no screws. You're gonna have to lift this corner up first and then slowly slide it out. There we go. Before we proceed further, if you found the content helpful or useful so far, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. The reason we have you go through a factory reset and software update first is because this is a software related issue. The next step to eradicate this problem is to remove two of the memory chips, completely erase them and reprogram them from scratch. I'm gonna pass this board over to my tech one for the removal of those chips. The two chips we are removing are called the EMMC and the EEPROM. They are both located underneath the heatsink. The EEPROM chip has eight legs, while the EMMC is a BGA type chip with a ball grid array. To remove the EMMC chip, we use a rework machine to carefully heat it from both the top and bottom, ensuring we reach the solder's melting point without damaging nearby components. Now that we have removed the chips from the board, we are going to put them in our programmer to erase and reprogram with a clean version of the software. We are going to do the same with the EMMC, but this one takes 15 minutes. So while we wait, let's check back in with Nick. The first thing I wanted to mention is that we didn't actually need to reprogram the EMMC chip. Technically, we only needed to reprogram the EEPROM chip. The reason we did both is because both need to be on the same software version in order for them to be able to communicate with one another. Because the software file we had for the EEPROM was not a match with the EMMC, we had to reprogram both. Now, I did want to talk more in depth about the common symptoms that we see plaguing these Samsung TVs. The most common issue is a dead, no power, no standby light, or you will get standby light, but when you power on the TV, you get no picture. The repair that we're doing here is going to resolve those two issues as well. The third most common issue we see is an HDMI failure. Now, most often the repair we just did will not actually fix this one, but we will have a video on that repair coming up soon. All right, I think the EMMC is done programming, so let's go back to Juan. It's complete. All done. And that concludes our video. If you found the content helpful or useful, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.